Hey, I'm Olivia Waxman. And I'm Cameron Seagull. And, and welcome, welcome to GC, GC Live. Our yearbook competition has been set for February 2nd. Come out and watch as people compete for campus beauty and most talented. Cheerleading tryouts are the week of February 5th. Packets are available, available in Ms. Long's room now. Seniors, please turn in all scholarship information into Ms. West. Our automotive program recently just passed a big inspection. We caught up with them to find out more about it. Okay, NATEF is the National Automotive Technician Education Foundation and they certify educational programs for excellence. And this big inspection comes about, they evaluate the program, they evaluate the instructor, they evaluate tools and equipment and everything to see if it's up to what we call NATEF standards. And crossing our fingers, this time we passed. How do you feel of having accomplished this? It's been a lot of hard work. Um, I've been working on this project for over a year now, and having NATEF under my belt is really, uh, it's a godsend. What did y'all do to prepare? Preparing, we had a lot of things that we had to do to prepare for this. Um, we had to paint the shop floor. We had to order new equipment. Um, some of the lifts that you see behind me here are brand new because we had to have those purchased and installed. We had to, um, I already said, redo the floor. The floor had to be painted, so all the equipment had to be moved out. The floor painted, restriped, and then we had to move all the equipment back in. We had to inventory all of our tools, and we had to go and get some of our tools certified and inspected. So it was a very long process. What was the most help? I was going to say, I got the most help probably from Mr. Jeff Mathis. He really helped out with this whole process. And um, the other person that I have to give a shout out to would be Mr. Keith Davis. Keith Davis helped me out immensely in this process, especially with tools and some ideas for tool organization. Okay, that's it. Congrats. Now let's kick it to Paige for Rebel Rundown. Hi, I'm Paige, and welcome back to Rebel Rundown. Rebel Basketball has started their division games. Be sure to join us as we travel to pedal to face the Panthers February 2nd at 6 o'clock. Both boys and girls soccer teams start the first round of playoffs February 6th at Gulfport. Be sure to come out and support your Rebels and bring your Rebel school spirit. Thanks Paige. We all have our fair share of embarrassing moments. Some more than others. So let's look at some now. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Sixth grade when this kickball went over the fence and I decided I want to get across the fence and get it and I end up ripping my pants on the process. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Well, in kindergarten I was in the bathroom and a kid jumped in line and I opened the door on me. And so I peed on him. I just turned around and let him have it. What's your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment has to be when I was six years old. Uh, we were doing a school play mm -hmm. and I fell off the stage. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, somebody poured milk on all over me at lunch. That's it. Okay. Thank you. What's your most embarrassing moment? Probably when I fell asleep on the bus and woke up at the high school. What's your most embarrassing moment? The time my dad walked in on me playing with a Bobby doll. Oh, what's your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment has to be, I remember exactly the date too, J July, 7th, 20, July 9th, 2017. So during the concert, the show's almost over, there's 50,000 people there, and some guy at the barrier decides to body surf. Nobody else picks him up. He jumps on me. <laughs> so... I dropped them, like dropped them in fifty thousand in front of fifty thousand people, and I felt really bad because, like, oh my gosh, I just dropped this guy in front of fifty thousand people. Okay. What is your most embarrassing moment? All right, so uh, one time in ninth grade, uh, Miss Woodruff wouldn't let me go to the bathroom, so I just peed on myself. What is your most embarrassing moment? One time in Coach Pearson's class, I was rapping about penicillin. And I thought it was the best rap ever, but really it sucked and everybody laughed at me. What is your most embarrassing moment? The time I got in a fight at the Taco Bell parking lot when it first opened. What is your most embarrassing moment? I was, one, I was at one of my friends' house and I flipped like 
10 feet in the air over a photo. Yeah, that. <laughs> Those were pretty embarrassing. That's it for this week. See you next time on GC, GC Live. Live.